Hey guys, Bud Firebird here. Check this out. I wanted to show you guys um, how to how to properly use the batteries, the power, the solar power batteries. As the sign says, like and subscribe, please. I'd appreciate that. But I uh, put this together real quick using. Uh, I need to fix that. Some dev tools and stuff, just so I could show you guys. some of this real quick. That should close. I have it set for 10 seconds. I need to take it down to 5. Okay. So these are the solar banks. And solar banks need the solar cells. Need 6 of them. They vary from uh, 1 quality 1 to 6. And uh, the solar cells themselves you can't make them there's no way to actually make them there used to be a way to make jars um a solar jar or i forgot what it's called it might have been called a solar jar uh but that would require empty jars and of course as you know they took those out of the game so there's no way to make those that I know of. Um, I can't even find them in the items list when you turn on creation mode. Because I looked. I was wondering if they were still in the game and I couldn't find them. So, those are gone. You also need the battery banks. The reason why you need the battery banks is because the power being taken from the solar bank goes to the battery bank. The battery bank holds six batteries varying from one to six as well on the quality and the uh, higher the quality the more power it can hold um, and when the sun goes down these don't work anymore so these will hold the juice these are called uh parent sources you can't have you can't chain them daisy chain them from here to there to there to there you can only chain them from here to there to one of these and then off from these to various different things um, so these two are called parent sources. Uh, you can only have one outlet on these. You can't chain them together, which absolutely blows. Believe me, I know it really does because I was wanting to daisy chain them together, but I've known for a while that they won't allow you to do that. You also need these wire, wire tools. They look like wire cutters or wire strippers, but they're wire tools. Um, and these lines that you're seeing is the wires. You right click on the solar panel and you right click on something else and it'll put a wire between it. And you right click on that and you right click to one of these and it'll put a line between it. That's the wires. Now the wires can clip through surfaces and thankfully when you don't have the wire tool in your hand you can't see them. This has been known for a while. A lot of people know this. I know there's already videos out there showing this. Um, so they cover all that. But I have a lot of people in my community. And my girlfriend has a lot of people in her community that don't know how to work these. The solar cells. How, you, how do you get them? So you have to have... Um, do, 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 do. Lucky Looter, at least level 4 from what I've heard, in order to be able to find them and some of the buildings and the loot chests and stuff like that. I want to test out um, Advanced Engine? No, Grease Monkey. I think Grease Monkey. Uh, on, because then so on some of the buildings you have, you'll see solar banks. I want to test out to see if that helps taking, uh, taking them apart. If you can get, um, solar cells from those. Haven't seen it happen yet, but I haven't messed with it too much. It might be a pretty rare thing. You also can get it by, um, the daring adventurer from what I heard you have to have at least three from what I've heard um, and then you can get it from 
uh, the traders. So the wires you can hook up from, as you see, these are coming from outside. So you hook them up, and this shows how much it's using. 10 watts, 10 watts, 10 watts. These also use watt wattage, even though it's just going from wire to wire. It only uses one watt, though, so that's good. Various different ways to use it. See the camera right there? If I step in front of it, the door automatically opens up. You can configure it for instant power delay, power duration. Uh, you can make it target strangers, target zombies, target allies, or target self. You can also take all that off and just make it customize it. Uh, has a camera preview also. And the same thing goes for doors, the big doors. So I have this set up for a 10 second delay. I have another one out here for the same way so I can go in and out freely. My allies can go in and out freely, no problem. It closes on its own behind you so you don't have to worry about that and as soon as you approach it, bam, it opens up and you get in. Now if it's Horde Night and you're going to be standing in front of your camera in front of the door fighting off zombies or some shit like that, you can put in a switch and now the switch has to go before the cameras in the door. So you flip the switch, off. The camera's dead, it will not open up. Flip it back on, the camera sees you, comes on. Off. So the door won't open. You can set the switch on that side if you want, so that way um, if it becomes horde night and you're busy making something and you're like, oh shit, I forgot to set it off. and Yeah, you can do that. The reason why cameras is also important um, the auto turrets, SMG auto turrets, shotgun auto turrets, they also uses the camera, I believe. Don't they? Hold on. I know they use power. Um, experimentation. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. It's powered on. It's working. Uh, it doesn't have any ammo, so that's fine have it target self okay yeah you don't need the cameras and see now it won't shoot you don't need the cameras for them you just need to set them up these I believe you can daisy chain Yes. Now, if you wanted to disconnect the wire, you left click. And see, it disconnected it from that one. Same thing here, it disconnected it from that one. Same thing here, it disconnected from that. Now, they will drain the batteries. Of course, not when it's daytime, when they're being fully powered by these but yeah some of the others are barely using uh, power but anyways so that's that uh, again to get the solar cells from the trader you need um, uh, the daring adventurer Yeah, sorry. Dar Daring Adventure. And that gives you... Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. Dying so much nice. I think it's Daring Adventure. Risking your neck every day has to gain access to better trader items. Yes. Okay, I was right. The Daring Adventure gives you better trading items. 
So that's kind of what you need to get the solar cells. It's the only way to get them. You can't build them. Remember that. Batteries you can collect from cars and stuff like that. Um, the solar cells I'm hoping that you can collect from the damaged solar banks that's on top of some of the buildings but I've yet to test that fully. Um, and the uh, traders. Yeah. Okay. So I hope that helps guys. I know that was kind of a bit jumbled but it's like three o'clock in the morning here. I just got done putting this together because I wanted you guys to uh, learn about the solar panels, solar cells, and all that, and how to hook them up to. So I hope that was quick. I hope that was informative. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe. And um, if there's any other questions that you guys want to know about, hit me up, and I will try making a video on that. Hello. That's an awesome gun. But okay, hope you guys like it. Thank you very much. Love you guys.